the plane from Amsterdam, where it launched, over Germany, over Poland, and apparently just after it entered Ukrainian airspace. That's Ukraine there at the very tip of that red arrow. That's Ukraine with Belarus above it under the arrow. Um, just as it entered Ukrainian airspace, the thing somehow disappeared from FlightAware. Uh, Malaysia Airlines admits that there is some kind of an incident. They don't seem to have a great deal of information, but from the, the standpoint of a commercial pilot, Robert, uh, this has got to be just the unthinkable. If in fact somebody is firing, you know, heat seeking or, or guided missiles at commercial civilian airliners. Well, I, I think one of the things I would be asking right now is that, you know, who filed the flight plan for this airplane? If it was the Malaysian dispatchers, and if I'd been the captain on that airplane, I'd have said, no, sorry, guys, I'm not taking that route. I'm not going into a piece of airspace that is that hot. That, captains that's have the that uh, thing I've ever heard. Captains have that discretion. That's absolutely true. And, and as I said, I mean, we all try to take the the most effective route, the, the most efficient route to save fuel and save time. But I cannot believe that the captain didn't realize where he was going and say, you know, I don't think this is a great idea. I mean, whether they're at 34,000 feet or not, uh, you, you just don't go into a hot area where they're shooting at people. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. We have on screen the um, the depiction of the Boeing 777 and the cockpit uh, voice recorder and flight data recorder. We still haven't found those from Malaysia Flight 370, the one that disappeared somewhere over an ocean. Uh, they will certainly get it from this flight because it, it came down on land. But, I mean, what are the chances that one airline has two of the most significant, in fact, as far as I know, about the only two significant civilian airline disasters in the same year. Well, I, I, I'm not that good with statistics, but I'm sure the uh, probabilities are, you know, the, the numbers are very, very high. I mean, honestly, most of us didn't think that Malaysian Airlines was going to survive after the NH370 uh, situation. But, of course, depending upon what caused this aircraft to come down, uh, you know, it, it's going to change. It is a game changer, as somebody said earlier. Uh, but again, I think that the issue is who sent the airplane through that airspace and why in the world did the captain take that route into such a hot piece of airspace? Because I, I can't understand that. As our Jennifer Griffin was telling us, there have been a number of cargo planes, uh, smaller planes, even, even a fighter plane that have been shot down in that vicinity. But one one wouldn't expect fighters on either side to target uh, civilian craft. Now, it's also possible that if this was a shoot-down, and just so our audience knows, we don't know that yet for certain, but if this was a shoot-down, you know, a lot of these folks are not very well trained in using some of this military hardware, and maybe they just pointed it at the sky and pulled the trigger. Yeah, but of course, too, these, these uh, you know, surface-to-air, well, it, it depends where it, whether it was a shoulder-fired missile or, or something from a, you know, that was using a more sophisticated ground radar. I mean, if they hit an airplane randomly with a shoulder-fired missile at 34 or 33,000 feet is, is almost impossible. Uh, but, but now, again, if they were tracking them, that would be a different story. But then we go back to my original point. What in the world was that airplane doing there in the first place? Well, it's a good question, and quite frankly, we don't know the answer to it yet. Robert, if you'll stand by just for a second, because we're going to sure. kind of recap here a little bit about what we're seeing uh, for our viewers. What you're seeing on the right of your screen is the map of the region that we're taking a look at. And interestingly,